Hello Virgo, I am Eva at Munga Des Oracle. Welcome to my channel. This reading is about love messages and we are going to reveal some secrets about their feelings and intentions for you. This reading can be yours if your sun, moon, rising sign or Venus is in Virgo. So let's start with actual love messages and uh, then we are going to look into this deeper with the tarot. So, what is your person thinking and feeling about you? You are so beautiful inside and out. I am so sorry for messing everything up you deserve so much more. I still love you and I can't stop thinking about you. Okay. So they feel that they messed up something up here. And um, they obviously love you. So... Let's find out more. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. I replay our conversations over and over. We both know I am not the one for you. I want to be more than friends. So it feels like it can be a situation which is very complicated, where the two of you can't be together, but your person is yearning for you. Uh, and um, it does feel like friends with benefits energy but maybe for some of you it's more than that so let's look into this with the tarot and find out exactly what's going on with your person so what is their secret what is their secret? Let's look into their situation, okay? Wow. <laughs> Spirit is giving us so much information here. We've got the Four of Wands, the Eight of Wands, the Six of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the Sun card, the four, uh, Seven of Pentacles and the Death card. So, the situation. Right. So, your person definitely is not free. They are not single. And um, they want to talk to you. They want to tell you all of this, which they are revealing right now. They are devastated that they have so many responsibilities and burdens on their shoulders because they feel happy with you. And uh, they are waiting, hoping that things can shift and change and they do want a rebirth with you. Okay. So let's look into this sun card, this happiness. What is it that your person is feeling? Two of Wands, Seven of Swords, World card, and the Four of Swords at the bottom. Virgo, your person can't make up their mind. They are, well... They could have low self-esteem. They could be a bit shy in a way. And um, this word card says that they could be very accomplished, very good at so many things in life. But when it comes to communication communicating their feelings then they just freeze they can't do that okay 
So what are they really feeling about you? Queen of Pentacles, High Priestess. Right. So they definitely see you as someone who is very intuitive. Also someone who is very independent. You can look after yourself. You don't need them. Okay. So what does it mean in regards to their action? I feel that they want you to reach out to them more than they want to reach out to you. And uh, you are one of many choices for them, or at least that there is someone else. So at least there are two possibilities here. <sighs> Tell me about these choices, please. Four of Pentacles. Yeah. <laughs> So, it's like they can be very protective or very aggressively coming forward to you. It's like um, they don't have um, a middle switch. It's either, they are either on or off. And this is like hot and cold, on and off in regards to the connection as well. Because they cannot make up their mind or they don't want to choose but they are watching you and they are hoping for a positive change in the relationship, in the connection. Right. So you could be dealing with a Leo. Sagittarius. Or Cancer. Or Scorpio as well. Wow. So Virgo, it looks like... They know that um, they are not the one for you, but they can't drop this. Right. Let's get some more information about this situation and your person. So what is the real secret? Because I believe that you might know that they have someone else. So that isn't a secret. Um, what they are hiding or trying to hide here is that they are trying to make a decision as well what to do, whether to continue this situation or not. Let me see about their secrets. What are they hiding? Guilty. I feel pain from the damage I have caused. Um... I am so sorry for messing everything up. So they did something here, Virgo, which you know about, and they are very sorry about that. But they possibly are not telling you that. They are not saying sorry. They are not expressing that they damaged the connection. They just quiet about it. But they know that they did this that they are guilty. So that is part of their secret. Anything else? I don't want to run anymore. Yeah, they could be running away. They could be um, trying to control the situation and when it's not going their way, they are um, running <laughs> they are stepping away from the situation unsatisfied I wasn't happy the way things were going <sighs> which could have been exactly what I just said that things didn't go the way they wanted to control it and then they did not like it anymore Right, let's dig deeper. So this is about love messages and also the secrets they are not revealing to you or the, the secret they are not revealing to you. They obviously love you. They want to start again or continue. So let's see. Victim. They are playing the victim, yes. Um... Playing the victim for positive feedback in the form of pity, inability to maintain personal boundaries. 
So they need to realize this. They need to change. They need to heal. And um, it's also possible that they don't think they are playing the victim, but blaming things on you, which is also exactly it, playing the victim. And they might be hiding that as well. They may not be open about this. Pioneer. Compulsive need to keep moving on. Um, that compulsiveness could be that they are when they are when their switch is on, they want it all now, and when their switch is off, they feel like they don't even care. Okay. Anything else? What are they hiding? Okay, so this is the inner child, the orphan. Feelings of ad abandonment that stifle maturation. Seeking inappropriate uh, surrogate families. Okay, so they could be seeing you as a mother as well as a lover. And um, this feeling of abandonment is quite a big thing in personal self-development and in romantic relationships, they need to take care of this. Taking responsibility for their actions will take them out of the victim mentality. And um, the compulsiveness they need to sort out and this uh, abandonment issue. So there is quite a lot they are hiding from you. Virgo, I do feel you might be able to aware to to be aware of these things, sensing it, maybe seeing it in them. But even if you bring it up, they don't recognize it within themselves. So it, um, maybe they are immature emotionally. Okay, let's see more messages from them. Oh, oh. I can't stop thinking about you. One went on the floor, hold on. I hide behind material things. Yeah, makes lots of sense. I want to feel that way again. Yeah, this person is unable to let you go, but they are also unable to change because they don't think they are doing anything wrong. They don't realize they have to do something different. And that's a very big problem. So Virgo, this person definitely is in love with you, but you are not the only one for them. They are trying to talk themselves out of it, but they either completely ignore you or um, harassing you, whatever is the opposite of ignoring you. So they are going from one extreme to another and they have to find the golden middle way. They are saying they don't want to run anymore. They need to adjust lots of things in order to be able to do that. So Virgo, I am going to continue this on Patreon and see where the two of you are heading in this relationship and uh, what advice Spirit would like you to see, to hear about your side of the situation. Thank you so much for being here, liking, sharing, subscribing and commenting. I will uh, post the extended and... Um, I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Bye for now.